Hello, it's Ed here, and today I want to show you how you connect your Xbox 360 controller to your Mac so you can play some games. Because I've looked online and I've worked it out, but the videos to show on YouTube I think are not very good. So I thought I'd show you how you do it. Because if you try to game on a, a Apple keyboard and a trackpad, Apple trackpad, it's so hard that you just you just wanna you just wanna use a controller. So I know what you're talking about. Um, anyway, let me show you how you do it. So firstly, you're gonna need a Mac, and you're gonna need an Xbox 360 controller. It can be wireless or wired. It's up to you, whatever you've got. And it can be an, an iMac, MacBook, whatever. Um, so hopefully you've got those already. What you're going to need to buy is one of these, and this is an official Microsoft wireless gaming receiver, and they're about £15, and you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave links for a for the UK and a US one. Please do not buy a non-official one, because I've had a look online and some people said that the non-official ones don't sometimes work. So just buy an official one. Yes, it's going to cost you a tiny bit more, but at least it will work and it will be all cool. And when you get one of these, it will come with a disc. This is for Windows, so literally just throw it in the bin because um, you're not going to be able to use it. It's only for Windows. Okay, so that's all you're going to need. Um, one of these, one of these, an Apple computer, and you're all set. Right, I'll, I'll show you how you do it. Um, what you're going to need to do is install some software uh, to be able to connect this to your Mac. But I'll show you that now. Next, what you want to do is you want to go uh, on this website, which is Tati Boogle, something like that, something like that. I'll leave the link to it so you go straight to the Xbox 360 controller. And what you want to do is you just want to basically install some software which then allows you to connect your controller to the Mac. So you want to click driver and then install this. I've already installed it, but um, yeah just install the software and when it's done it will restart your computer and then after you've after it's restored I was like oh where is it where would it be and I was looking at applications but it's actually in system preferences and it's this little uh, icon here Xbox 360 controller and this is it um, and I'm going to show you how you connect it now um, Right, so after you've installed the software, you're going to need to plug this in and then the light should be on and there's like a little, hopefully you can see this, um, there's like a little button and what you need to do is um, you need to connect your Xbox 360 controller to this. Uh, so turn it on and basically, you know when you first get your Xbox controller and you've got to connect it to the console, you've got to hold that button, don't you, at the back and connect it to this and hold both and then it will start sort of doing its thing where it uh, goes all around until it's connected. So that means they're both connected and yeah, it should work now. Right, back to the computer. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go onto system preferences and you wanna go onto Xbox controller and the, 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 the device should show and mine says wireless 360 controller, wireless. Um, and yeah, it's all there and you can fit and you can basically, I'm moving the controller now, pressing all the buttons, and yeah, you can fiddle around with it until that works. So now you're connected, because we've connected the controller to the wireless receiver, um, and we've downloaded the software to allow us to do that. So basically, you've done it, you're good to go. So I'll just show you an example of how it works. Right, so your controller should be connected um, to the wireless gaming receiver and now you can now play your video games on an Xbox, Xbox 360 controller wirelessly. So yeah, there you go and you can, it's so much easier, it's brilliant. But I hope that has helped and I hope it's um, a lot clearer now how you can actually do it. I'll leave all the links in the description and it would be great if you could like the video and subscribe for future content. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks very much for watching.